Uh, my shop's name is Rides by John. Seema to me is basically, I consider it the best of the best. You know, you go out there, you're bringing, you have to bring your A game. You have to bring the best vehicle possible. You have to put the best work into it. It's not like going to your local car show where you can go see, you know, builds people are building in their backyards and you have to be the best of the best to be at SEMA. Uh, what we're bringing this year is a 57 Chevy Bel Air that we basically want to have the outside appearance of the car to resemble a 57 Chevy, but we want the car to be all modern underneath it, to have a Corvette motor, twin turbos on it, and just detailed. Something I can get in the car and drive it to Florida and back and have fun along the way. So we want to keep the body original. We left all the trim on it, but we won the rest of the mod and the performance underneath it. So we ran high-end bear brakes on it. We put air ride technologies on to give it that nice ride like a new vehicle. We went with a Chevy LS1 motor out of a Corvette in it. So it has that performance that gets us up, gets us moving. We put a Diffworks rear end differential in the car. We put race line wheels on it with Pirelli tires and ran a 335 tire in the back. So we can hit that performance, grab traction, and just scoot down the road. Three of the focal points of this car, I think one of them is going to be the detailed chassis with the Corvette system. You know, Corvette motor, all the chrome and powder coat. It's gonna be the Stitchcraft interior that's all made, hot rod materials, everything all done right. It's gonna be a one-off interior. You will not see another one like this vehicle. And the body of the car. I think it's a good thing they did a Young Guns category this year because it allows builders that are under 35 years old to be able to compete for Battle of the Builders. You know, nowadays everything it's coming technical and the younger generation is coming out. You know, we're, we grew up with the new technology changes, we grew up with product changes. So I think it allows us to bring, you know, new stuff to the automotive industry and showcase our skills in a whole different way. At this point, we're 10 days before SEMA and we've gotten past all the hurdles of the fabrication, all the technical stuff with the car, and right now we're in final assembly with the vehicle. Everybody thinks, oh, let's throw a few parts on it. It may seem that way, but it, you always run those hurdles. We're still doing 18, 20 hours a day right now, and we will until we're sitting in that parking lot at SEMA. A storybook ending to me isn't about winning. You know, there's, there's always going to be one winner. To me, that's not what it's about. It's about showing my build to the world and letting other people see what I can do.